Hello and welcome back to Root Kaiser's playthrough of Magic the Gathering Chandelier. Last time we were heading north to find this very spot. But it seems we have to fight our way to it first. We are on our way to liberate this city from the evil red wizardress. Wizardress? Start off strong, swing for three. Continue strong, bolt them for three. Hmm. Teeter out, because you didn't hit an island. Well, the island's a little late now. I can afford the bone breaker giant. Swing in for four. Understandable. Draw three cards and cast a throne of in a crown of empires and pass. I keep getting the other one. I keep getting mixed up with throne of empires for some reason. Not like I use any one over the other. Swing for four. You can't protect yourself forever. Swing for seven. Take one down to one. Let's see what can help me. I don't need any of this stuff. Put all that stuff to the bottom. There, you can block there. The unsummon works. Swing for four. Now that that's out of the way. The goblin recruiter is cool if I like goblins. How about we learn about the next dungeon? Ooh, a Yawgmoth's Bargain. It's dangerous, but fun. I start with a land in play? That's sick. We're gonna save this town! This place is ruled by the Red Wizardress. To free this city, you must do this sorceress. I don't know if that was meant to rhyme, but let's go. We just need to beat one red wizard to save this town. I'm not so keen about betting which moves it. My, um, unsummon. Fire breathing when you're goblin. That's actually kind of worrisome. I'm gonna have to destroy it. And before it destroys me, Blade Tusk Boar. In attack position, a dwarven warrior. Combat, swing for three. You can actually block, but I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not going to. You give that thing fire breathing. The answer to your problems aren't always fire breathing. Can I just kill you? Are you gonna stop me from killing you? You're gonna activate fire breathing a bunch, but no, you're not gonna stop me from killing you. My goodness, these creatures look heinous. What are what are these things? What is this? What is this nightmarish abomination behind? What is writing this? Out? What is happening? This is a this is a frightening image. The, the people rejoice. This is stuff of nightmares. Is this is this the city now? Can I go in here? Please let me in. Please let me in. Let me in. Oh, that's cool. I'd rather fight an enchantress anyway. Like always, we're gonna play first, and as often as we can, we're gonna swing in for three, turn one, before they have any permanent on the field. Now this thing is worth unsummoning. I was gonna say I won't, I won't waste the unsummon on a stupid elf, but suddenly it's worth getting rid of. Scoop. The same Lanawar elves. Swing for one. You're not gonna block. Oh no, a cockatrice. Whenever it blocks, whenever it blocks or becomes blocked by a non-wall, destroy it. Ugh. So it's power, it doesn't matter if it deals damage or not. I'm gonna throw both of the wardens at it and see. So yeah, just, so just, so hey, just take it. Oh, I couldn't block it anyway. I didn't even realize they were flying. Let's play a bone breaker. And if we both make it to the next round, we can worry about sensory deprivationing your chicken. Dude, sick. Outta here. I think I'll take a dungeon clue. I don't want a green mono battery. I actually ex expressly don't want that. They sell green stuff here. Three amulets for a bird to paradise. I'll get an elvish mystic. And of course, since we're already here, we had might as well start a quest. Defeat the cleric, which has been menacing our village. Return here, and I'll award you with green cards. We need to hunt down a cleric. I switched to a green- Whoa! I'm sorry, I got very scared. I switched to a green and red deck. 
Let's not go that way. So we'll see how that goes. The first time using a deck that isn't the deck we started with. I figure since we're surrounded by green stuff, I might as well use it. I am not looking. You are what I'm looking for. I just saw you. Hope the elephant doesn't spawn back in. Come here, you. Let us duel! As always, we play first. With our stupid green mana battery. I'm doing this almost exclusively because we have a Gaia's Cradle. So how does this actually work? I have to pay two to even activate it, so it's not going to do anything for a while. Let's play a forest and pass. I mean, the turn right before... So next turn, when we would play, have nothing to play, we could play that instead. Then we can go straight into the Wood Elves and the Untamed Wilds. It's not... It's not the worst. It's just not very useful. Oh. Oh, it taps for green no matter what. I did not realize that. I will play a Wood Elves to grab a forest. Alright, then I'll pass turn. Swords, my wood elves, is that really worth it? You undid the life, or whatever. You, you gained me a life just so you could deal one damage to me? I don't think that, I don't think that's worth it. So you see, the end goal of this game, of this deck, is to cast Jared of the Closed Fist. A 6-5 for 6, which we're quite close to. I'll cast Untamed Wilds, Tutoring for Mountain so that I can tap to, to put a charge counter on my battery. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Your feeble attempts to harm me will... You only have two lands. Cast Jurd. It's gonna assume you won't play any blockers and pass turn. I'm gonna swords, my dude. It's actually pretty lame, my guy. I'm gonna deal three to you at a, at a spite. Are you just gonna sword into every creature I put into play? What a fucking nuisance. What is your answer to this, I wonder? Ho ho! Nothing appears to be the answer. My battery, no! God, you're obnoxious! To activate it, this cleric is a nuisance and a half. He swords to every creature I've had, and now he's breaking my battery! End it, please. That was a lot of overkill. But it's everything you deserve. God, what a nuisance. Yeah, sure, I'll take the I'll take the tutor. Now we return, please don't touch me. Can we return here? Any green card of our choice. Now what's some good green spells to hop on to? Oh actually take a taiga. Please don't touch me, you monsters. Well now that we've gone way up here. We actually don't need to go anywhere in particular right now. Oh, wow. Green cards, instants, enchantments, enchantments. So this is all red, green. That's why I was dealing with a bunch of green areas. So this is all green turf. This is all red. Hmm. I haven't seen a single blue location. Let's go north to grab these black instants. A red wizard sends a sorcerer to attack Unicorn Shrine. Crap, I don't have time for you. I'll take out this thing and go investigate Unicorn Shrine. Pay two for Noah's Warrior. You pay two for a Bog Imp. My, my two drop is better than your two drop. Uh, seems like we have to hold the line still. Mm -hmm. Smoke him if you got him. Deal nine damage directly to you. Maybe the Blade Tusk board would be bad in this deck. Mm. Unicorn Shrine is way south from here. We're gonna take a. Oop. Mm. You happen upon Narina and find a spiritual guardian. Uh, we're gonna call it right here for now. We now have a plan of attack. The red wizard just seems to be going off. They are unable to control their bloodlust. They attack city after city. Fortunately, we're here to put them down. Hope you all had a wonderful time. I've been your audacious host, Rude Kaiser, reminding you to always read your cards.